today we're going to learn about emergency preparedness. So when you think about emergencies, what type of emergencies do you think about? Uh, I usually think about the EMTs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like medical type of emergencies? Maybe yes. Incidents? Darian, when you think of emergencies, what do you think of? Um, I don't know. How about, we get a lot of rain here sometimes, right? Right. So what happens if there's too much rain in the streets or on the land? It might flood. Very good, yeah. So we're gonna go over a bunch of different types of emergencies. And I found this cute little program that I hope everybody likes. So let's go ahead and start. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is knowing the risks. Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Ian. Welcome to the Emergency Preparedness Squad. Oh, emergency <laughs> Preparedness for our very first emergency of the day. I have prepared something amazing. No, Ian, we are not preparing emergencies. We are preparing in case of an emergency. Oh. That's totally different. Yeah. yeah Does this yeah, mean yeah. I won't need my box of angry porcupines? No. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Did you get a box of angry porcupines? Please. I prepared it. Did you know how hard that was? <laughs> oh, man. Ian. <laughs> what? We did not come here so that you act like a monkey. Oh, no, no, no. When I say act like a monkey. Act like a monkey. No, I don't want you to act like a monkey. Act like a monkey. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, you. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. you want to do this by myself? <laughs> By yourself? Do you want to go outside and wait in the van? Wait in the van? No, 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 no. I'll then be good. be good. Okay, I'll be good. <laughs> what are we talking about? Emergency preparedness! Right! We are preparing um, in case of an, an emergency. emergency. Yes, yes, because emergencies can happen anytime, anywhere, and we need to be ready. We are going to do this together. You are all now apprentices in the Emergency Preparedness Squad. <laughs> We are going to be working together in teams, preparing for emergencies. Yes, and everything you do, you will do for points. That's right. But you can get points for answering questions. Yes. And you can get points for going on missions. That's right, Ian. And you can get points for, um... Ian, how about we explain the points as we go along? Oh, yeah, great, sure. Uh, your teacher's going to help you through the, the whole thing, and you should have received some mission files now, but if you didn't, don't worry. Get them later on. Yeah, thank you, Ian. Yeah. How about we learn our theme song? Do we have a theme song? Uh, yes, we do. Awesome. Okay, this is how the chorus goes. We want you to sing along. It goes like this. I'm ready, ready, I am ready, ready, I am ready, ready, I am. With a thumbs and nod at the end. Got it. Give it a try. Yeah. Yes, you in the back. Try it too. It goes like this. Come on, let's do it. I'm ready, ready, I am ready, ready, I am ready, ready, I am. One more time. I'm ready, ready, I am ready, ready, I am ready, ready, I am. That's it. Well done, everyone. All right. I think they're ready. All right. I think they are ready. Oh, can I push the button to the next screen? Yeah, no. No, I just... On the wrist. Alright, next one. Don't panic, but there's an emergency. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic, the ground is shaking under me. The 
zombies come and they eat all my pie. I know the risks. I've got my plan. I've got my kit. That's it. I'm ready, ready. I am ready, ready. I am ready, ready. I am. I'm ready, ready. I am ready, ready. I am ready, ready. I am. Don't panic. Take a breath to calm you down. And goodbye. Ian, what are you doing? This is not over. It's not over? No. How long is this going to take? Ian, this is just the first part of four sessions. Four sessions? Yeah. Today we're going to do Know the Risk. Know the Risk. And then later we are going to do Make a Plan. Make a Plan. Get a kit. Get a kit. And we are in this together. We're in this together. Yeah. Wow, this sounds serious. Don't worry. It's a game. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. It's a and game. we are going to see which team can earn the most points. Yay, points! Yeah. Okay, so your teacher should have divided the class into four teams. If you haven't been divided yet, don't worry about it. You can do it after we've signed off. All right, players, your job is to help your teammates through the game because you all need to work together in order to score points. Exactly. Now, it's time to name your team. Oh, yeah. Name your team according to the element. So there are four teams and four elements. Right. Earth, air, fire, water. Got it? Got it. So name your team according to the elements. Okay, if you're on the Earth team, you could be... Pebbles. Thank you. And if you are on the Air team... You're a win. Sure, that's a great idea. Yeah. You can think of your own names. Okay, teams, it's time to name your team. Have fun, and we'll see you soon. All right, everyone. So since there's so few of us, do we just want to be one team? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Does that sound good to everybody? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. What do we want our team name to be? I think something around fire. Let's do something with fire. That's all exciting. Does okay. everybody like fire? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what should we name our team? How about campfire? That's what we were talking about earlier. Can we be the campfire? Yeah, that's true. We were. Yeah, we were talking about campfires. That is definitely true. We were uh, talking about. What do you think, Darian? Are you campfire man? Uh, campfire. Want... I, I think s'mores. So that's always just about food too. So that's good. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, don't forget graham crackers. Yeah. <laughs> That's part of the s'mores. Yes. I guess well. So should we be campfire or s'mores? I'm thinking campfire. 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 You have earth, you have fire, and you have water, mm -hmm. and you have air. Yep. Yeah. Those are the four things. The elements. Okay. 
Sounds good. So we're going to learn about different items and then we're going to do some activities and answer questions and earn some points while we're at it. Okay. And then we even have a scoreboard that we can look at to see how many points we get. All right, let's get started. Hey, apprentices, now it is time for your first activity for points. All right, what are we going to do, Sarah? We are going to brainstorm a list of possible emergencies that could happen in your area. i got to think of all the different emergencies that I need to prepare for? Yes, because... <laughs> I can do that. Exactly, because if you know what emergencies could happen, then you're more likely to be properly prepared. <laughs> Sarah, no, 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 so we, we got to stop this what right doing, now. Ian? What's wrong? I can't do this. Ian, calm down. Okay, I am thinking of all the horrible things that can happen. I'm just freaking okay, okay, out. Okay, so, 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 Ian, Ian, calm down. Who deals with emergencies all the time? I don't know. I don't know. Esmeralda, planet protector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, why don't we watch Esmeralda while you recover? Okay. Okay. Do you want to push the button? Okay. Okay. Emergency panic. All right. So let's think of some emergencies that happen in our area. So we talked about one already with the rain. Well, you know, we had just, we it was just 9-11, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just, yeah. Right, and so yeah. that's what, terrorism. Mm -hmm. That's a huge emergency, especially with 9-11. Um, let's also think about, so we talked about air, wind, and earth, and water. And he just said fire department, so yep. you have fires. Fire. You have fires. How about um, the different storms that come into the area? Sometimes yeah, there's too rain, much snow, right? Yeah. You can't get anywhere. Yeah, yeah. rain, snow. Don't forget mm -hmm. hail. Yeah, hail. How about uh, hurricanes? Yes. I we might not necessarily get the hurricane, but we get like the tropical storms. When I grew up, in, yeah, I grew up in Kansas where we had lots of tornadoes. Oh yeah, tornadoes. Oh. Yeah. So can we think of any others? How about accidents? Mm -hmm. Can things happen in the home? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What about, um, so in most of our homes, well, in all of our homes, we have smoke detectors. So what are those, what do those help us for? They help us with fire. If they're for, uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, for when fire comes. Yeah. And... Oh. You have everybody have to everybody have their alarm system. Probably not everybody, but some people. Mm -hmm. So when the EMPs show up, EMPs. And what happens? Has anybody ever had like thunderstorm come near and then um, their oh, yeah. power went out? You go, yeah, yeah. On the power go yes, you go straight to the basement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely for a tornado, we definitely have to have the earthquake. And we normally don't have very often in heat around this area. But it did happen, what, um, well, 10, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. Can't pass it. Yeah. All right, let's start our next um, slide. Sure, it's a lot of explosives. I wonder who it is. Me too. 
those explosions are not good for the environment. Yeah, not so good for us either. Hey, that's Marla. What's your favorite color? What? Blue. All right. Uh, mushrooms on pizza. Yes or no? What? Mushrooms on pizza. I I'm answering your fan mail, Esmeralda. My fan mail? Oh, yeah. People all over the world, they want to know all about you. <laughs> so, uh, mushrooms on pizza? Uh, yes. Uh, Seriously, okay. Esmeralda? You know, most of your fans are kids. <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah. I don't say no. Okay, okay next. Uh, parrots or ninjas? Oh, oh. oh. Which is cool? Uh, pirates are... Uh, are criminals and ninjas are assassins. Yeah, I'm gonna say undecided. Okay, uh, how do you stay so calm under pressure? I gotta know too, Esmeralda, because I'm getting a little anxious here. I use the superhero calming breath. Superhero calming breath? Yes. How come I don't know that? We studied it in the academy. Didn't you pay attention during class? I got to show the tensions a bit. I blame the internet. What were we talking about? Wait, pirates and ninjas, right? No, we're talking about staying calm yeah, in an emergency. Like when you're in an emergency situation. Yeah, like this one. <laughs> like this one. You can use a superhero calming breath to calm you down. During an emergency, your body goes through all sorts of physiological changes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big words, Esmeralda. Rajneesh asking the questions only in grade two. Uh, um, so if you're feeling worried, scared, or stressed, your body releases chemicals that make you feel frozen, confused, or shaky. The superhero calming breath helps you calm down. Ah, yeah. Why don't we give it a try? Okay, okay, good. So breathe in through your nose for four counts, filling your belly like a balloon. One, two, three, four. Then hold for two. One, two, then out through your mouth. One, two, three, four. Then hold for two. That's it. Oh. Do we practice that? That way when an emergency is happening, we know to stay calm. So in through our nose, ready? Then you have to hold for two, then out through your mouth. I feel calmer already. I do too. You do too? Mm -hmm. All right. I feel calmer already. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's try it again. Oh, okay. Okay. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two. Then out through your mouth. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two. You feel better yeah, now? That's great, Esmeralda. Good. Yeah, I can think of all times I could use this emergency exactly. breath. Exactly. Oh, like that, like that time I was so mad at the professor because I thought he ate my last cookie. Yeah. Oh, oh, then there was a time I had to write a test at school and my brain was all just like, <sighs> oh yeah. Oh, and, and, oh, then there was a time I only had one crown tower left and a guy attacked me with a level seven baby dragon and I only had enough mana for level two goblins. Cooper, another chance. Let's go. Is it important to stay calm during an emergency? Why do you think yes. it's important? Yes. Why? Because if you panic, everything might go out of sorts. When you panic, do you do you understand everything that's going on around you? Not really. No. Because when you're panicking, everything's just kind of going on at once and flooding your brain with all types of other thoughts and processes. So we always need to stay calm. So how do we stay calm? What did we just learn to do? Darian, do you remember what they called it? Superhero breath. A superhero. Yeah, why do you call the cops? <laughs> they call the cops. I would call the cops too. <laughs> yep, our, our superhero breath. Come on, breathe out. Breathe out.
Wow, that superhero calming breath, that was amazing. I can use that anytime I'm totally freaked out in the red zone. Yeah, it really works. Yeah, uh, when I'm confused, scared, nervous, goofy in the yellow zone. Mm -hmm. It helps you get back in the green zone. Back in the green zone. But you need to practice. I do? Yeah, the, the more you do something, the better ah, you get at it. Ah, that explains why I am so good at acting like a monkey. Oh, 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 Ian, ah, ah, ah. breathe. Breathe. Now. Got it. Uh, Let's do uh, it all together. Oh, yeah. We're going to do the superhero calming breath. Breathe in through your nose for four counts, filling your belly like a balloon. Go. Two, three, four, hold. One, two, out, through your mouth. Three, four, hold. One, two, again, let's do it. In. Three, four, hold. One, two, out. Three, four, hold. One, two. Oh, I am calm. I am focused. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, so what's next, Sarah? Well, we need to brainstorm the top ten emergencies that could happen in the area. Right, right, right. And now that I know the superhero calming breath, I can do this without freaking out. That's right, right. Ian. So we need to think of as many emergencies as we can in our area. Mm -hmm. Big emergencies. Uh, not little ones like I have to pee. Or there's a cat stuck in a tree. Yeah. Big emergencies that affect your entire neighborhood, town, or even your entire region. Mm. Something like an earthquake. Oh, earthquake. That's a good one. Write that down. That's your freebie. Yeah, okay. So your teachers are going to give you points for the ideas that you think of. That's right. Now, we're going to try to make a top ten list. So we're going to need your ten best answers. Mm -hmm. Teachers, you're the timekeepers. All right. Okay. I think we're ready to do this. We're All right, let's do it. Okay, can I push the button? Yeah, no. So I never get to push the button. So we already made our list, didn't we? Allison, did you have anything you wanted to add to it? What type of emergencies we have in our area? I think Allison's muted. Hi, Allison. I think you're muted, honey. Uh, hey, Jennifer. Hi, how are you doing? What kind of emergencies can you think of that we might need to plan for? Um, emergency? Mm hmm Like, like, um, COVID. COVID, that's a and, good one. And then another one, like, um, wash your hands. Mm-hmm, that's how you... That's what you tell to you take care of it because we had talked about earthquakes and thunderstorms. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I know that one. I know that one. Tornado, it was a tornado going in the bathroom and cover up your head in the bathroom. Yep, you cover up your head in the bathroom. Very good. That's your plan. Right. And there's this case of the fire. Don't look at that bed. Look at the stairs. Yeah, you don't use the stairs. You don't use the elevator in a fire. Right. Uh, yeah. Yep. Um, with, um, Jennifer. Yes. I said there's okay on oh, Jeopardy. I don't know if we're gonna have Jeopardy. We'll have to ask Mary if we're gonna have a Jeopardy. So not this one? Not uh, this one, but we can make another Jeopardy yeah. for it. Oh, okay. We Ooh, can have thank you. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me um What's your name? That's Mary. Sorry. Mary. Time's M up. It's time to share the answers. One member from each team will stand up and read out your team's list. We're looking for the best from 10 from each team. Your teacher will award points. Right. That's right. Click ahead for the scoring instructions and to answers. Oh, yeah. And after they score, yeah. we should come back and demonstrate all the emergencies. Let's go ahead and do our scoring now. Okay, so they said the top 10 emergencies they had were earthquakes, avalanches, wildflower, fires, <laughs> disease outbreaks, landslides, tsunamis, which we don't have around here, power outages, hazardous material spills. That's a good one. We missed that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, we that because I remember, okay, I remember when I was working outside of Safeway, mm -hmm. and and the power just went out. Oh, okay. I remember that. Mm -hmm. So yep. Hey, Brian. Hey, how are you? Who is that sitting on your on your right next to you? That's his sister. Oh, okay. Your mom in the way. What is this? What is this name? My name's Aaron. Hi, Erin. Hello. My name is Alice. My name is Allison. Hi, Allison. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Erin. 
All righty. So what's um, what? Jennifer? Well, let's move on with this else, and then we can talk a little bit afterwards. Okay. okay? All right. We're going to move down. All right. So let's talk about avalanches now, just in case any of us go somewhere where there's snow and mountains or large hills. Yeah. Earthquake! Oh, okay. Severe weather! Flood! I'm good. I'm good. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, let's go that way. Okay. Landslide! Ah! Avalanche! Yes, I'm a slacker. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hazardous, Hazardous material spills! <laughs> Wildfire! <laughs> Power outage. <laughs> Whoa, say, who turned out the lights? Tsunami. What? Disease outbreak. <laughs> really good with the disease outbreak. <laughs> and now it is time for the emergency preparedness squad game show. <laughs> the fabulous game show where teams compete for points. That's right. We're going to have one player from each team come to the front of the room and try to answer a question. Now, in order to answer a question first, you need to buzz in first. That's where right. we get to use the buzzer. That's the buzzer right. works like this. <laughs> so if you want <laughs> to answer, all you have to do is say, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Stop with the buzzing. I'm demonstrating. <laughs> <laughs> that is it, Ian. You have just lost two points for your team. What? For being Whoa. disruptive. Oh, sorry, guys. I lost mm -hmm. this. Oh, which team am I on? You're on Team Ian. Oh, team Ian! <laughs> <laughs> and so far this week, you are at minus 287 points. Oh. Okay, speaking of points, how do we earn points? Well, you can earn a point for doing a superhero pose when you come to the front of the room. Stand like the superhero you are. That is one point. One point for a superhero pose. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the front of the room, you are also going to answer a question. That's right. Come to the front of the class, make your superhero pose facing the class. The screen behind you will change. A question will come up. The teacher will read the question, and everybody will get an answer. Everyone will get a chance to answer. Yeah. But the person who buzzes in first gets to answer first. That is right. And if you are the person who buzzes in first, you get a bonus point. Bonus point. So uh, I come up. I make my superhero pose. Uh -huh. I buzz in first. Uh -huh. I answer. Uh -huh. That's three points. That is three points for your team. Three points for my. Mm -hmm. I can do this. I know. All right. Let's oh wait, have... wait, wait, wait. Is this a test? Oh no, this is not a test. It is a creative way to start thinking about new ideas. Oh, okay. So I don't even have to get it right. Well, you do need to try your best. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, let's have one player from each team come to the front of the room and yeah. start oh. trying to answer questions. Don't forget your superhero pose. <laughs> Okay, Sarah, push the button. I can't hold this much longer. Oh, sorry. What did you want me to do? Push the button. Why don't you, why don't you push the button, Ian? Oh, okay. Push it. Push it. Didn't hurt. <laughs> They're a goofy crew. <laughs> Obviously, we are only one team because we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. So all we're going to do <clears throat> is if you want to answer the question, do you remember how to buzz in? Jennifer. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Who's them on? You're, we're all on the same team, Allison. We're all playing together. Okay. We're one. We're one solid okay. team. We're the lifeline thank team, you. Wildfire. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, campfire. Thank you. My bad, campfire. <laughs> okay. So, do we remember how to buzz in? We have to tap our head. Alrighty. 
So what kind of things can happen in a earthquake? Alice, you need to unmute. There's a, there's a. Oh, you gotta put yourself in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going in the bathroom and cup up. Okay. Yep. Go in the bathroom, cover up. We count that for two. Ryan, what, what do you have? An earthquake. Uh, what can happen? I know there can be a lot of water, mm -hmm. and there also can be the the earth and the wind can. The earth shakes. The earth shakes. The earth can be strong as well. Yeah. When the earth shakes, what do you think happens to cars that are driving on the road? They flip over. Do you think it could shake them and cause accidents or flip? Yes. Yep. Over. And they also can flip over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Because the earth, because the earth can be strong, very strong. I got one. Yep. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the earthquake being, like, cars crash in the earthquake, right? Yeah, cars can is crash. Is that right? Yeah, cars can crash. So the other thing can happen is, like, gas lines can break, right? And then that can cause fires. Yeah. You know, and then um, the flood, too, right? You can have water, right? Earthquakes are what cause tsunamis, too. Mm -hmm. Earthquakes How about the, the flood? How about the flood? It could cause floods if the pipes break underground, too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna do not go by no window. Don't yep. go by no window. Right, because the glass can break, right, in the in a, in the earthquake. Mm -hmm. So that's why you go inside into in a room. And if your house is shaking, or the building, how about how about, how about my apartment? Apartment, I mean, my apartment. Apartment can yep. apartment can fall, right? It could collapse if it shakes long enough. Yeah. Building can fall. Yeah. And what about power mm -hmm. lines? So if power they're falling. The, Sky or underground, and they start shaking back and forth. Could the could something happen to our power? Yes, I know. Yeah, power could go out. Yes. Oh, like that. I go to my job. The same way, don't um, uh, that is a hurricane. Don't go to work, right? That's right. You don't go to work. Don't Stay go home. to work because they have to be closed. Mm -hmm. So we got property damage, roads closed, gas leaks, shaking around, falling objects. Oh yeah. Broken windows and power outage. And the church okay. be shaking too. The church be shaking too. Yeah, the sh the church would certainly shake. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, what kind uh, of do we think can happen in a windstorm? The windstorm? In the wind. Black, black of snow. Yep. yep, lots of snow. And there's a lot of wind sometimes when we have blizzards. What happens then? Do things come um, in the air? Yeah. Yes. Your house yeah. can go in the air. Mm -hmm. The airplane. It can be they bad make for it hard airplane. to travel. Mm -hmm. It can knock trees it over, right? It can knock trees over. Oh, yeah. The trees in the airplane, too, fall down. Yep. Power again, also. Right. Yeah. You lose power. And what if yeah. a tree falls on top of something? On top of the car? Mm -hmm. Top of the car? On a car or a house? Yeah, a house or a cotton building. Mm -hmm. Very place of work. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, like the place where I got my job at. I work at the same as far away as the factory. That is just a cheap old thing, and I want to call. Your trees can fall down. And you say it's a hurricane. And you say it's a hurricane, you say, don't work, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Because I work. You have my thoughts, coach, you know that first thing. She got no money, she cannot get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she can't get there. She has to stay home too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Everybody stay home for their work. So we're not going to play with the other people I got. I'm going to play All right. What, can, what kind of things can happen in a power outage? Oh, like the light go off. Lights yep, go off. the lights go off. All the stuff oh, in your fridge can go one. bad. Right. Look at, um, look at, uh, funny bell, right? I was saying for right? All mm -hmm. the lights and all. Mm -hmm. And then everybody got to leave early. Everybody had to leave early. Early. Because mm -hmm. of the power. I was at funny bell. I was at funny bell, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the lights and all, they never had to leave. Yeah. It's scary when the lights yeah, go out like that. Oh, yeah. The light, and, and the light in my apartment go out, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just stay calm. 
So and stay and stay put. Stay put. Definitely. So inside your home, you have a refrigerator, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. If the power goes don't, out, don't, what's in the fridge? All your food. All your food. All your food. All your food. And not do not look no stove, no oven, and no no microwave. Right. None of those how, things work. How would you eat in the microwave? That's true. Yep. So and how those, would you eat? Crackers. A cold crackers. Eat crackers and fruit. That's what you eat. Crackers and fruit. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Things that aren't in the refrigerator. Or, or how, about, how about sandwich? Yeah, yeah, right. Tastes delicious. What if it's winter time and the power goes out? It's cold. Yeah, if it's real cold outside, we don't have any power. How about Denver? How yeah. about juice? Do you need juice? Oh. Yeah, you, 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 yeah if, you, if your juice isn't in the refrigerator, it'd be okay. You just got in my hand. I'm just gonna use my hand. I'm gonna need to find a blanket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to find a blanket. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we'll do now. Yeah. So you guys, I think you guys are like really on top of things. <laughs> you know so much about um, natural disasters and being prepared for emergencies. I'm telling you, next time you all could teach the class. Is <laughs> today, please. Case is a fire. You move out. I mean, I'm like, this house is a fire. Move far away from the building. Move far away from the building. Okay, you know apprentices, great work with the game show. Yeah. Hey, sorry, you know what I noticed about all those emergencies? What? Power outage. <gasps> yes. You know what? If you are prepared for a power outage, you're prepared for most emergencies. Now, who has not had a power outage? Oh. And you know what else I noticed was very common? Gas leak. Oh, yeah, but I know a way to help prevent a gas leak. Really? Yeah. Tell your mom and dad to uh, strap down your hot water tank. Why? That way, if there's an emergency, it doesn't fall over and break the gas line. That is such a good idea. Yeah. Uh, all right. Congratulations, everyone. You have now completed level one of the emergency preparedness squad. <laughs> level one, but that means there's more levels. That's right. There are three more levels to complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, tell them about the mission, Sarah. Oh, good idea. <clears throat> Apprentices, your mission is to go home and talk to your parents about the top 10 emergencies. That's right. And you'll earn points for your team. That's right. And don't forget to practice the superhero calming breath. Yeah, keep you calm, keep you in the green zone so you can do your classwork really quickly, really quietly, so you have enough time to do the next emergency preparedness squad to find out what happens to Esmeralda and Goober. Exactly. Oh. All right. That's it. That's you it. completed level one. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time. Yeah, I can do this. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. So we're ready to do level two. Kind of ran out of time. <clears throat> well, you can you can pick and choose as you go forward. Okay. Be good for us to make a list of what the stuff that is that we might need to have right on hand. Definitely, definitely. All right, Jennifer. Yes. Jennifer. Yes, Allison. What is I eat on my own iPad? What is this I eat? Crowns? I know you seem pretty, oh, you seem, you, I think you're better on your iPad uh, than I am on mine. You're like a superstar. Oh, the superstar. Oh, okay. Like, just like that. Like that. Yep. <laughs> and what is this? Allison, you're, I'm so happy to see you more talkative this time. Then we're at the show. I see some girls. I see some 15 girls. Allison's always there. And you're like a man and a lady. Yep. There, you see them now? So they're going to tell us about how to create a plan. Welcome back. Okay. Let's skip the intro. Emergency plan. Y'all in the mercy plan. First day. You need water. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First aid kit. Yeah, man. And your medication box. Medication. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And your um bed room. Yep. Well, like, okay, it's crazy. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't like me, I got a bike. I mean, I have a bike. Like, I'll tell my kids, I'll say, I'm not getting my bike because it's just a thunderstorm. Ain't that right? Mm hmm. And what about food and water? 
Yeah, well, I think yeah, Ryan, Ryan was saying water. water. Yeah. Ryan had water. Yeah, ever snow, ever snow, that ain't gonna work. Ever snow, don't gonna work. Yep. Now we're gonna... Ever snow, that's an emergency, right? Yes, if it's on the ground, like, too much snow, yeah, it's too, if it's too much, it's if it's too much, it's an emergency. Definitely. Yeah, don't go, don't not go to work. Yeah. I took my man, I took my man, oh. she said something in February. If it's not in February, then I'm not going to work with Alice, though. No way. All right, Allison, you want to learn how to make a plan? Yes. All right, uh, here we go. It's time to check in with Esmeralda and Goober. Woohoo! She's awesome! Uh, the last time we saw Esmeralda and Goober, they were hunkered down, tracking down a super villain. Who's blowing stuff up. Come yeah. on, let's watch. Uh, apprentices, it is very important in this next section that you really pay attention to the... <gasps> thought through so everybody knows what to do where when and how yeah yeah, yeah but uh, esmeralda cooper you didn't study the plan book did you well, i knew to but then the new polka decks came out and cooper yeah, we're not gonna break side no i can uh, eat i'm not do polka that bastard Esmeralda and Goober got totally blown up. I know. We need to do the calming breath. The superhero calming breath. The superhero calming breath is very easy. I'll explain it, then we'll try it. First, breathe in through your nose and fill your belly like a balloon for a count of four. Then hold it for a count of two. Breathe out through your mouth for a count of four and hold it out for a count of two. Should we try it? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Good job, everyone. Okay. Saw everybody practicing. Uh, okay. Now we're going to get ready. All right, apprentices, it's time to start thinking about a plan. Sarah, what do we really need a plan for anyway? Ian, every school, workplace, and home needs an emergency plan. In the event of an emergency, you there's not going to be time to think of what to do. So you need to know where everything is, what to do, and you need to have all your stuff together yeah. in one place. That just sounds like a lot of info. I'm just going to improv. I am a master of improv. Oh, give me a job, uh, a location, and something that fits in a lunchbox, I will do an entire scene. Yeah, no, 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 no. No improv. We need a plan. You, you've never made a plan before, have you? I got the money today. No, it's okay. We are going to learn about it today. All right, squads, it's time for the game show. Get your buzzers ready. Me. <clears throat> One member from each team comes to the front of the room and makes the superhero pose. Stand like And, the of course, how do we buzz in? If we're all on one team together. I just... Good job. <laughs> All right. Name some things you could plan. Oh, I got a plan. 
And okay. I'm going to take my arms off me, take my lunch, and put my bags in my longer, and put my nuts in the refrigerator, and I get my fit me, like, clean the bathroom, clean the bathroom, take the fire shower, the cycle bed, the hand basket, and stuff on the back on the shelf. But I always do this. Then I have the customers, but that goes to the Day. So you can also, what yeah. else can you plan? So when Allison plans her day, yep. you can plan and a the wedding. Day, 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 day. And then, 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 now, you can also plan your um you can also plan for food water your meals yeah your meals, mm -hmm. and, your meals. Um, and you also you also can plan your um your day ahead so that way you won't be scrambling mm -hmm. So sometimes, like when you're planning your food, you have to make a grocery list. So there's multiple mm -hmm. steps of planning. Yeah, yeah. especially when it snows, mm -hmm. because you don't want to be out. You don't want to be out in the snow when it's totally uh, uh, icy. You know. Right. Mm -hmm. So Ryan, what do you think the goal of having an emergency plan is? Why do you think we have emergency plans? The murder plan. I'm not got one. The murder plan means when it don't not. Uh, it was heat like rain was sent icy outside. Icy will fall and hurt yourself. That's right. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So you make a plan so that bad things don't happen. So if it's if it's snow, stay at home. Don't go. Right. Stay home. Don't go out. So you know what to do, right? So you know what to do. I know. Go ahead, yeah. I know when yeah. I see, I know on the news when I see cars, mm -hmm. and, uh, they, they be flying. Yeah. So when we think about an emergency plan, what are some things that we should put in that plan? Uh, oh, no. No. oh, the first aid kit. The first aid kit, things that you need, right? right? What are you saying, Darian? Darian's saying something there. Uh, and, your, and your flashlight. A flashlight. Okay. Let's hear what Darian has to say. Oh. So we should flashlight food. How about uh what if somebody gets hurt? Should we have things included in our plan for somebody gets hurt? First aid kit. First aid kit. Um, medicine. Um, um, how about with our plan? What, where should we should go if where we're at is not safe? Oh, fancy home. I mean, can I get get hurt or yeah, go to the hospital. Yeah. Call, call 911. Mm -hmm. And call 911. Mm -hmm. Yep. How about if an emergency happens and you're unable to speak for yourself, should you have special information uh, that should, that should, that should, yeah. on who they should but like my he, like he my can always, You can always wear a name tag so people can recognize you. Yeah, you can yeah you're right, tag. Ryan. Yeah, you get that right. Okay. There you go. Uh, like, Oh. Like, how about like, it? Like, like, like your name tag, so they know who you are. Like Brian was saying. So I'm guessing. So, so Allison, 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 yeah. do you, Allison, does your house have a plan? So if there's a fire, right, that you guys know what to do, where you live, they tell you what well, you need to do. Yeah, go, go, just step, don't, not lose on a bed. Right. right. Just so, and fire, my bed, gotta be there. Go far. Go forward yeah, to the building, right? So you have a plan, right? If there's a fire. So you've already mm -hmm. started some of these things. So that's great. Yep. 
So, yeah. so Mary, you want to go to the kit thing? Just want to do a kit? What goes in a kit? Okay, yep. Gallery. Yeah, I would be telling you. Yeah. Brian, do you have any plans, emergency plans? Go ahead, Brian. Uh, So Mary, we could just do this. We could just do this out. normally. Just talk about yeah. it. What Daddy normally get so you can see the flashlight. Go out, like, uh, flashlight. Yeah. Flashlight. Mm -hmm. 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 flashlight. You need that flashlight. flashlight. So what else do you need? So we have flashlight. You need a, a first aid kit. What else do you yeah. need? So you, we guys talked about like. like like the Band-Aid, Band-Aid, right? First aid kit. What a, How about blankets? Blankets if it's cold. Yep. Or if you get wet. Because I'm the dog one. Um, and the fire is going to flashlight. What about your medicine? Does anyone take yeah. medicine? Yeah, your medicine, yeah. Yeah, your medicine. Yeah, your medicine. What if you have a medical condition? So I know like some people who have diabetes wear a bracelet, but if you, you don't wear a life. bracelet, how would people know? You need life alert. Mm -hmm. if you or need you could have like a packet with your information on it, like what medication you ID. Mm -hmm. Your ID. ID. Yep. 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 Your ID. Perfect. Right, because what you can do too is you can make copies, right? You can make copies of your ID, right? You can have copies of your ID in case that you keep it in your emergency kit. So you have that with you. Oh, you see that way in your wallet. Yeah, or you could just make sure that your wall gets in there, but right, sometimes you just, you may forget. So it's good to have a backup. So I have cats, right? So I need to have in my emergency kit some cat food and some of my cat's medicine, because they take medicine too. Oh, yeah, I got a food bag. <laughs> so what about what about food, right? Do we need to take food with us too, right? Yes, food. Yeah, food like, that, like sandwich. No, so what kind of food can you, but right, you want to have a kit ready to go. So what what kind of stuff could you put in your kit? That would last longer, right, than a sandwich would. What would last longer? Like your lunch box? No, so like what kind, what kind of food has a longer shelf life, right, that you can stay that might have calories that are good for you? What, what some, can you think of anything? Peanuts. Peanuts, that's good. Um, fish. Raisins. Raisins are good. Mm -hmm. uh, peanut, peanuts. So I like maybe. How about peanut? It comes uh, in a jar. Yeah, peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Um, uh, protein bar. Protein I mean, bar. Nice box. Mm -hmm. How about candy? Yeah, you could have some candy, candy right? Because yeah. candy has it lasts a while and it has a lot of calories. So it, if you, you couldn't get canned food, goods. Right? yep. But then if you have How canned about, goods, if you have canned goods, what else do you need? If you have canned goods, you need oh, can, yeah. can, can opener. Or, yeah. You need a can opener, right? What about can like open. what about like hand sanitizer, right? You want to have that yes. in your emergency? Yeah, I got that. I got that too. It's in my room. And what about water? How are you going to drink if, say, our uh, water is broken? My boy, right there. <laughs> Allison's ready to go. <laughs> we and don't... I got some, I got shoes too, both. <laughs> and boy. If it was in, oh, yeah, I the wallet. Wallets? And the I bought, Darian's, I Darian's like saying you should bring your wallet with you, right? That you should have your wallet. And we yeah. talked about flashlights, but what do we need to put in the flashlights so that they can work? Batteries. Batteries. Great. Uh, okay. What are we forgetting? What are I got, we forgetting? What else do you think we need? Can you guys think of anything else? I feel like we're forgetting something. So are you going to wear the same uh, clothes? What if you don't have water or anything for three weeks? Three weeks. Or do you have to go somewhere? So you should probably have, if you were to go say somewhere overnight, you would pack a bag full of... Oh, it's in a hotel. It's in a hotel. Mm -hmm. But you would need new clothes. Clean clothes. underwear. Clean underwear. Clean underwear, yes. Underwear. Absolutely. Your bra. Your bra. bra. Mm -hmm. Your bra. How about like an extra toothbrush and toothpaste? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mouthwash. Mm -hmm. Mouthwash, yes. You might want some, some you might, might want Deodorant. some wipes, right? Some sanitation wipes or body yes. wipes. 
right? Yeah, that yeah I think you your, your deodorant. Deodorant, always a good. Must. Always a must, a must. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Then your um, lotion or your cream. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you definitely want like an, a, a bag packed in case you have to leave where you're going and go someplace else, and especially if there's no electricity or water. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure we have those things. Another good canned food is like tuna fish. Mm -hmm. I'm not easy to no, but so Allison would have canned chicken is what Allison canned would have. chicken. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got chicken now. Um, so you know, just, you know, yesterday with your, um, my stand down with your, um, um, one more, I got, um, roses chicken. Okay. So, so what else? And, What'd you say, Darian? Uh, I said I got roses, roses, I'll chicken. Let, I'll also let Darian, Darian speak for a second. Okay. What else did you think of, Darian? Huh? Is that a refrigerator? Okay. okay. Well, we're almost done here. We're almost, we're at four, so. Okay, so you definitely want all the things that we talked about. You also want a list of the medications you're on. And your eye drops. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You also want to make sure you're a copy of your insurance card in case you have to your get ID. more medications. Yep, your ID. You want a list of your physicians. So mm -hmm. a lot of people who um, receive <clears throat> services or help mm -hmm. normally can print off a list it's called like a oh, call 911. Mm -hmm, a data sheet. You also want the numbers of emergency oh, people you over. near you. Yeah, you need to burn. Mm -hmm. Is that your birthday? Is that your birthday? Yeah, you need well, to know your birthday. Well, they'll get that from your ID. Mm -hmm. How about family members' names and phone numbers? People yeah. to contact. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have family. I got family here in my staff. No, you, my you would use Susie's number, wouldn't you, Allison? That's who you'd call. You'd call Susie. Yeah, close yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah, I call Susie. She's out of town. She's out of town, yeah. Right, Brian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what else? What else do we need, Mary? Is that pretty much everything? That's pretty much everything. Yes. They know. Your mask. Your mask. Yes. yes. Now we need to wear yes. our mask. Very now good. your mask. Yes. Yes. Good one, Allison. Okay. Yes. Good one. Should have backup masks with you. That's a great, okay. great suggestion. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you eyeglasses so you can yeah, see? Yeah. Maybe you have a pair of maybe you have a backup pair of glasses you want to take with you. That's a good yes. one too. I got one. I got one pair of glasses. That's all. Yeah. yeah. I just I have one that I wear too. Okay, so what did we learn today, everybody? The emergency. Emergency preparedness. How to prepare for them. Mm -hmm. If I was going to take a flashlight, mm -hmm. last go, as the lights go out, take a flashlight, the steps, like one second here, then come the flashlight. And go down the steps and go outside. Down the steps and far so, away from both, both yeah. far away, yeah. far away from the Allison's got it all. Okay, let's let, let's let Mary wrap. Mary, I mean, Allison, let's let Mary wrap up for us here. So this week, I'm going to be coming by to numerous um, of your homes to drop off a little emergency preparedness kit that we have made. That way, I can also meet everybody in person, and it's going to have tips, a list of what you need. It also has a canvas bag for you to be able to put your important documents in it, some sanitizer, first aid kit, lots of goodies. Okay. So I look forward to seeing everybody this week.